hello from a cloudy morning yay <laughs> it looks great though ah, sorry mr carrots okay so it's already 11 35 and i was just doing uh, my job i'm doing something different this time i usually make scripts but i was tasked with some trivia questions so our game has this feature in which you can okay hold on i use a uh, black reader hold on <laughs> you can go into some trivia about the game and you get rewards this is how it looks like so i was tasked to write even more questions also yesterday i was looking for jobs uh let me explain i want to get a job in norway so I found one that I'm quite interested in, this one. It's at the Lillesand B or Sjöfats Museum. This job is quite nice. I like the description and everything. I have all the qualifications. These are the qualifications. I have all of them except one. <laughs> this one. Um, specifically this part. Måbehaske <laughs> norsk. Or engelsk. It uh, means I have to be fluid in both Norwegian and English. My Norwegian is not there yet. It's not fluent. I mean, I know a few words and I can get around. I can go out and everything, but it is not the per most perfect Norwegian I've heard. <laughs> also, another news. Um, I bought these corn snack. This is toasted corn. It says lightly salted, but boy, I feel the sodium. I decided to add some spice to it because I like I like a bit of spice in my life. So I added uh, cayenne pepper. Wait, I said it in the original. <laughs> cayenne pepper. Pe pepper. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and it ended up delicious. I love it. It's now quite perfect. Hello. It's already Wednesday here. It's been a nice week so far. Something happened this weekend. I went outside and uh, I found a jellyfish on the beach, but it was outside of the water. I recorded a little clip, so let's play it. I found the jellyfish right here, away from the water and so I brought a bucket and I put the jellyfish in there, it was a little hard, it was heavier than I thought and I brought it over there, oh my god I hope it's good enough I don't know how much they can live outside the water, please leave, please and I wet my shoe, I have to go get changed, please do your best little jellyfish, I love you alright, now it's time to go home and get changed because I'm a little cold so yeah, that was a little bit sad. There's not much I could do about it. And then on the weekend, Jakob tried Dr. Pepper for the first time. That was interesting. Here's the little clip. I didn't like it because it tastes like cherry. It smells like cherry. Yeah, let's give it a shot. It does taste a little bit like cherry, yeah. There's a lot mixed in. Really? Yeah, you should have some. Also, we're watching uh, anime still. Nom, 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 nom. Same one. Hey! Actually, not bad. Even though it's cherry and I don't like cherry, it's, it's not bad. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Because my best friend, this is his favorite uh, soda. So he once gave one to me, one to me, I think. And I was like, Bleh! <laughs> yeah. Also, we uh, made pizza, and we are gonna watch The Promised Neverland. Uh, so yeah, it's overall, it's been. A relaxing weekend and a nice week so far i spoke with jacob's grandmother she is so nice i love her so much and she's coming to visit us today so yeah things are going quite well i've started a new um, k-drama here's the thing i like korean shows but i don't necessarily like drama itself drama isn't my, my thing that much i prefer relaxation <laughs> but i still learn quite a bit from watching shows um since i write fiction i learn about what kind of narrative techniques they use and 
it, it is cool. I learn, so I appreciate that. Oh yeah, the one I started is called uh, My Holo Lob about AI, and I love AI and robots a lot. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I will continue my job and uh, see you a little bit later. On Sunday, I went to this so-called Bananparken. It is such a relaxing place with a nice view. I was having uh, breakfast there, feeling my best self and just having a great time. One day, I want to record the place a bit more but on sunday i just wanted to relax for a bit uh but here's the thing i just looked up bananparken and apparently that's not the actual name of the place let me let me show you apparently the actual name of the place is uh samuel nikolai hansen samuel nikolai hansen's park all right that's the legitimate name and also it has one star which I thought was uh, interesting <laughs> and I read the review It is a shame to call the park the banana sermon No, banana park The correct historical name is S. N. Hansen's park And it has been called that since the park was created Angry emoji I looked up a little bit more about the history of the park and apparently It was named after this person that was born in 1810 and he was a shipyard and ship owner from Lillesan. Yeah, so that's cool. I didn't know that. I just knew that name as Banan Parken, but now we know a little bit more. It is lunchtime now, and I was thinking of making a green pasta. So, pasta with green sauce. It is one of my favorite types of pasta. For that, I will be using spinach. It says it's washed and ready to eat. I'm gonna use a blender for this. I've never done this recipe, but I hope it turns out well. So the recipe says I have to use heavy cream, but I don't have that. I think I can find vegan heavy cream, but I'll just use regular milk. And um, yeah, I also wanted to get some <laughs> Some other vegetables, not only spinach, but uh, I couldn't find it in the store, so I think I'm just gonna use some herbs instead to add flavor. So, alright, let's uh, get started. This is my favorite type of pasta, fettuccine. What is your favorite type of pasta? Okay, I just blended everything together and it worked, I think. <laughs> I don't know how to use this, but I uh, figured it out. So let's see if the consistency is good. Well, that looks quite messy. Let's see. It smells good, which is a good sign. So, this is how it's looking now with the sauce and some extra spices. But anyway, it tastes quite nice, so it's all right for a, for a first try. This is Jakob's menu. He said he was uh, craving some meat, so this is meat, and this has meat. And this is mine, just plain old uh, spaghetti. Nom nom. I was watching a bit of uh, ho my holo love, but then Momo messaged me. And, well, I want to reply to her. <laughs> I want to show you all my Norwegian phone. Ta -da -da -da. Courtesy of Mufar, uh, which is... Um, Jakob's grandfather. So yeah, I'm replying to her. <laughs> and uh, a happy face maybe. How do you make a happy face? Uh, like this? Yeah, let's see. Um, happy face, happy face. Mm, two. <laughs> this is so cool. I had a phone like this when I was younger. Momo is coming over soon. So awesome! Now, I was thinking of inviting her some turon, this is called, and some alfajores. There you go, alfajores. <laughs> it was very sticky, but we made it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh. I can't 
eat this because it has gelatin, but it's all right. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma left. We had a lovely talk, and she ended up liking the desserts I brought. I asked her about my Norwegian because we mainly spoke in Norwegian today. Mm, about 90% of our conversation or so. And I felt great. I can have conversations, so I'm really happy about that. And I asked her if I had improved since last time I was here. And she told me that I'm more confident now and that I'm not afraid to make mistakes. We all make mistakes, that's part of learning. So if you just embrace that, yes, you're going to make mistakes, but it's going to go all right. You can just ask if what you said was all right, etc. <coughs> My voice is breaking. <clears throat> and that's about it. I think I just want to study for a bit, then watch a K-drama. And go to bed. This is how I study in a region. I am just using Duolingo. And it works. I like it. It feels like I'm just playing a game, pretty much. And I have my little notebook here with me. In which I write down what I've been learning. And it's really good to write it down. It uh, makes my brain work a bit more. Um, that's it for today's vlog. Uh, my battery ran out. <laughs> Thankfully I have two. Thank you so much for joining us in another vlog. I appreciate it and I hope it was fun. And remember, life is amazing and you deserve the best. We'll see you in the next one. My other battery ran out of power as well. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.